Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Chris, the Big Snowman, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my oldest, favouritest weapons from Battlefield 3, the F2000. And let me tell you, this gun used to be a fucking beast until they put it in this game and ruined it. In my opinion, anyway. I mean, a lot of people love this gun and uh, are using it a lot in this game. However, it's just not my cup of tea. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. And the first reason would be that the recoil on this gun seems to be pretty fucking random. Um, it's sort of like... A, I mean, short range, don't get me wrong, the short range, medium distance kind of, this gun is awesome if you're standing still. Now, if you move about and you try and go left and right and sort of throw the other person off, you probably are going to get killed because the... the there's something that happens when you move about in this game, um, where moving about just just fucks up your accuracy, uh, your bullet spread when you're hip firing, uh, or even when you're ADSing, and uh, it does it even more with this gun. It's even more pronounced, and I don't know why, but it just is. So that's sort of my main gripe with this gun. Um, I mean, close range, yeah, you know, it's, it's fine, but medium range. I mean, even the Ace 23, uh, which is my favorite gun in this game uh, up to now it is anyway don't I mean they might patch it because everybody's going on about it being such a OP weapon but um, yeah I mean that is my main issue with this weapon so uh, let's get a little bit into the statistics for this weapon um, and I'm not a real like a big fan of, of statistics on weapons but I just want to give you guys a like a better sort of loadout if you are going to use this, use this gun uh, which sort of loadout you're going to want to use it with and uh, as you can see there, we've got the, uh, the 1.6, I think it is, 1.6 scope, uh, or 1.4, one of the two. And um, personally, I think if you're going to use this weapon, you may as well use the goddamn scope. I mean, look at it. It's fucking crazy. You're not going to get that on any other weapon inside of this game. It's cool. You know, it might not be practical, but hell, you're going to look like a fucking boss. So, ball with it, dog. you know? Much swag. And look at this guy. Look, look at me, what failure. I just thought, oh yeah, let me uh, try and knife this dude. And um, it just didn't work. So anyway. Um, so the spread increases 23% less on the AF2000 when shooting with a muzzle brake and a ergo forward slash vertical grip. Which is what I would recommend with this weapon. Like, if you're going to use this gun, don't use it for long range. I mean, you could do. There's a couple of clips in this video where, um, where because I'm a boss... I do get a couple of long range kills, not tooting me own horn or anything, but um, but yeah, it's not very practical. You have to be stood dead still and you have to be tap firing like a boss to, uh, to actually pull that sort of shit off. Now there's a lot of advantages, I mean overall the advantages are between sort of, you know, less recoil upwards, less red while moving an ADS, less when hip stand moving, blah 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 blah, and they're all, you know, anywhere ranging between 18% lower um, spread. Uh, all the way up to 25% less upwards kick um, with these attachments and the uh, I'm going to tell you once more right the attachments for this gun is muzzle brake and ergo forward slash vertical grip and they are in my opinion what you are going to be want to you know want to be using with this gun uh, it's going to be a run and gun type of gun uh, I don't know why I just said gun in the same sentence twice but I fucking did because I'm a boss look at this guy watch this wait wait for it <laughs> Die? <laughs> Question mark? Die? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Moving on with this. Um, yeah, my, my overall opinion with this gun is I am probably not going to use it. Ever. Like, I did, I used it for about an hour and I just could not get used to it. I did not like the, the spread of the bullets. I didn't like the kick, how it bounced around like a bitch when you was moving. Um, it's just not my type of gun. I prefer my guns more stable, like, you know, having a stable platform of guns to use so that I can dominate shit in the battlefield. And that is basically what you want out of a gun, isn't it? I mean, do you want to play a game with a gun that's pretty hard to use? Maybe, yeah, on those days where you feel like a challenge. Yes, go for it. Use those weapons. That's what I say. I love using weapons for a challenge, but only for a challenge and entertainment purpose. I do not like going at people who have got much better weapons than me with a really shit gun. I don't understand. I mean... In my opinion, that's just how it should be. I mean, I think guns should be balanced, but this gun just does not seem very good at the moment. Uh, I hope they could, could give it a buff. Um, the rate of fire is not too bad. I think the rate of fire is somewhere around... What is this rate of fire? 
like 850 yeah 850 rates uh, rounds per minute which is pretty good i mean it's it's up there with the the higher firing weapons definitely not as fast as the as fal or the famas but it's up there and unfortunately i mean i can play with the famas better than i can with this weapon i can control the recoil on the famas better than i can with this weapon so what does that say a 1000 rpm gun versus a 850 and i can't use the 850 it just doesn't seem right i mean obviously maybe it's just me there again but Bitching done for this episode of review for gun weapon mechanics or whatever. Um, that's my opinion. I do not like this weapon and I hope you guys can try it out. And if you have already tried it out, maybe you can post a comment on, I don't know, something that I'm doing wrong with it. But it's just not, not my cup of tea, bro. At all. So thanks a lot for watching this episode, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a comment, a like, a sub. And maybe share the video. Maybe, you know, share this to your friends and stuff. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to me or following me on Twitch even, do so. And uh, follow me on Twitter because Twitter is the place where if I'm going to be doing giveaways and stuff on, uh, on Twitch TV, that is going to be where you're going to go and find it first. I will not make a video every time I'm going to go Twitch stream and give away a load of shit because it's just time consuming and I don't want to do that. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye-bye. My name's been The Big Snowman. Lots of love. Bye, YOLO, swag, loves.